I'm still fighting a uh, power line noise, extensive power line noise. And I'm going to show a couple things and how I went about trying to locate where the issue was. We did find it. And uh, but here's, here's how I went about it. <clears throat> so I happen to have a 6 meter 7 element Yagi at 70 feet. Uh, which is my most directive antenna. It's actually my Stepfire DB36 modified with extra parasitics, which I modeled myself. And this is <clears throat> the pattern. It's a very clean pattern, um, very directive. So I'm going to spin it around from 180 degrees due south, counterclockwise to 180 degrees. And we're going to start now. We're going to watch signal strength and position of the antenna and try to find where is it strongest. Also, we're gonna to try to make note of any knolls. <clears throat> the knolls can, can also help pinpoint where um, the uh, issue may be. So we noticed due south it was a bit of a knoll. Now it's coming up to the east and swinging up back north, back down to another knoll right there at about five, six degrees. Now it's coming back up again. And here it's significantly stronger than pointing east. Now it's pointing out to the west. Now it's very strong, S9, at about 275 degrees is where it peaked, about 275. Now it's coming back down. All right, 200 degrees. Okay, so about 270 degrees. So I'm going to spin the antenna back there. Two, so let's go 280. It was about S9. Right there, okay. Now that's without any preamps. I typically on six meters, I'm able to run both preamps or preamp two on this thing. You can see right now it's almost 20 over nine, the noise. And I normally, my, my noise level on six meters is, is S zero. Um, so now what I do, this is my house here, and I'll draw a plot. here. Well, that's not the Google Earth I want. Anyways, so I'll have to draw a plot at 270 degrees. And then actually, I'm going to use Earth. One moment. We'll get rid of that one. We're going to go to my house, which is over here. By the way, this is the San Andreas fault line right through here. You can see it come right through here. And I live pretty much right on the San Andreas fault line. Turn down the noise. So here is my house right here. Okay. Now we're going to draw a line. Measurement tool. From my, my antenna. And we can see over here the uh, heading. So we're going to draw it 270 degrees, roughly, this direction. You can see, if we zoom in, we have these power poles, the power lines through here. Let's see, grab this. Uh, 270 there. Now, I already walked the road and I have a uh, Yesu VX7 radio, which I can put on AM on both 2 meters and 440. And I have an Aero 2 meter 440 satellite handheld antenna. And I walked this direction. And on AM, <clears throat> I was able to kind of pinpoint between two different poles. And I went to UHF to 436 megs. 
on AM, and I was able to pinpoint to one specific pole, and which was this guy right here. There's a, there's a pole right here. You can kind of see it right there. There's a pole right there that has some lightning rushers on it. Then I have an MFJ parabolic ultrasonic dish, and I was able to identify the specific component. And there's a lightning arrestor on each of the phases to the transformer. And on the north side, I was able to identify that lightning arrestor is what's causing all this noise. So hopefully the guys will be out here today. I was able to talk to one of the service, the bucket truck service techs alignment uh, last night. And, um, and hopefully they'll be out here today and I can convince them to cut the hot wire um, on that particular lightning arrestor and my noise will go away. Uh, this is the sear. Uh, I've had two, I had a lightning arrestor right outside my house right here uh, fail a couple years ago. Then I had a uh, lightning arrestor over here on this pole fail. And then when they replaced it, they replaced both of them. They replaced one they replaced. It wasn't bad. was bad once they were done. I uh, had a lightning arrestor over on this pole over here go bad. Now we're over here. And it seems like there was a bad batch. They replaced all the wires, all the transformers, all the lightning arresters about uh, three years ago. And it seems like there's a bad batch and they're just failing left and right. And every time one fails, this is all I hear. And the, the noise is actually worse on HF than it is on six meters. If we tune down to 20 meters, let's go to 20 meters. The antenna has to tune. So the antenna is tuning here. So it'll take a, it'll take a minute for the, uh, the antenna to tune all the way to 20 from six meters. And we see the signal is over 20 over S9. It's just, that's all I hear everywhere. Every frequency from 3.5 megahertz to 54 megahertz. So it's been this way for six months. It's been intermittent, but now it is solid. Um, and that's what I get to contend with. So for the last three years I've had this system up, about half of the time I've had it up, I've dealt with this bullshit. And uh, SoCal Edison has not been the easiest to work with trying to convince them that their equipment is causing these issues. Even though I can, I can, I, if I can get somebody out here and I can get them out here while I'm here, I can take the parabolic dish out there. I can let them listen to it and they can hear the d damn things arcing. Uh, you can actually hear them arcing with the headphones. Anyways, that's what I'm dealing with. All right. So the lightning arrestor that was on this pole here, the one closest to the street, the one that's to the left by itself, was arcing and now it's been corrected. However, now this pole has one that started arcing almost immediately after they corrected the one just behind me. So here's what we'll do. We'll walk up here, have my little parabolic ultrasonic dish. We'll walk up here. Now this is pole number eight two five nine three nine E. The lightning arrestor now is on the right hand most side. This guy, if I point my parabolic dish. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this to get audio through the speaker here on the headphone. Let me do this. There we go. Parabolic dish is directly on the lightning ruster to the rightmost side. And I'm scanning over to the other two. That uh, is the Leftmost side. Nothing. Back over to the right. 